meet the Twain Sita team, Kathy, Catherine, Amada, Sharice, and Thelma. Our Sita team goal was to grow teacher capacity to collaborate effectively around mathematics instruction. The picture of the empty staff lounge symbolizes ground zero of our work around collaboration. We were starting fresh. This year, Twain Elementary welcomed six new staff members and four teachers moving to new grade levels. This was the ideal time to begin building a culture of collaboration school-wide as grade level teams needed opportunities to define themselves as collaborators. We asked teachers to engage in an assumptions wall activity to explore and define individual and group beliefs around collaboration. Teachers wrote a statement about their beliefs and asked questions to engage with the ideas of others. Teachers also worked together in grade level teams to create a list of characteristics of a good mathematician, which drove teachers as they began the school year. Grade level teams identified a math focus and designed a common math task for the students. Student work collected along the way guided next steps for instruction. Teachers refined and adapted lessons based on their findings and then taught the revised lesson. This process happened a total of three times. It's amazing in terms of what teachers were bringing in and were sharing with each other. Um, and it was so interesting to hear how a, a lesson that they planned together sounded and may have looked different um, in each, each of their classrooms when they came back to share it. So just that discussion alone was very powerful and meaningful for a lot of teachers. problems at the end. So it made me look at a word problem completely different. It's not so much I um, want the answer, it's how you got there and also um, maybe it was something in my instruction that didn't convey out to the students. So I was looking at myself also. Mid-year, we shifted from providing staff development to focusing on our own CETA team development. We began a book study to try out various protocols for analyzing student work that we could possibly bring back to the staff in the future. As a team, we went through the protocols and spent a lot of time thinking about our students and their math development, while keeping in mind how this might work for our teachers. We solved the assigned problems as mathematicians, sorted student work into categories, and identified student strengths and areas of partial understanding. We also identified learning gaps and next steps. After completion of each protocol, we reflected on the experience and how teachers might feel about using it. After going through the book study, um, the change for me is the real shift for me was using collaboration, using the expertise of my colleagues um, to, uh, um, and student work to develop um, a, a deeper understanding um, of my practice.